There's nothing more comforting than an old fashioned pot roast and I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. We're gonna start by slicing up a sweet onion, mincing up some garlic and slicing some cremini mushrooms. We're simply gonna set these vegetables to the side for a few minutes. And next we wanna season up our chuck roast on all sides with salt and pepper. Now you can certainly use a top round roast or even a brisket. I decided on the chuck roast. I think it's got a great mix of lean to fat. It's gonna provide a ton of flavor. So season it up on all sides with salt and pepper. And in a Dutch oven pot on high heat with olive oil, we wanna sear it and get it golden brown on all sides. Next, remove the brown chuck roast from the pot and add in the onions, garlic, and mushrooms. We want to caramelize these up and get them nice and brown. Once they are brown, we're going to sprinkle in a little bit of flour. We want to create a roux. We're going to add in some beef stock, the chuck roast. We're going to season it up with a little salt and pepper, and we're going to add in some fresh thyme and bay leaves. And what we want to do now is simmer on low heat for about two and a half to three hours. The chuck roast has about an hour left in the cooking process and because I absolutely dislike mushy vegetables, what we're going to do now is slice up some carrots, celery, a parsnip. We're going to add that to the chuck roast, help get it even more flavor and have nice cooked vegetables. In addition, we've got a big pot of boiling water. We're going to put in some baby Yukon potatoes because we've got a great mashed potato recipe to go along with our braised chuck roast. It will take about 20 minutes for these potatoes to cook. We just strain the water off them. Now we need to mash them up. A great chef and friend once told me, 50% fat, 50% potatoes. So we're gonna add in some olive oil, sour cream, butter, salt and pepper. And if you've got any cheese lying around, and we always do because my daughter loves cheese, grate it in there. It's a great way to use it and provides a ton of great flavor into these mashed potatoes. We're gonna finish it off with some fresh herbs. What we're gonna do is serve these potatoes right up in a bowl and guess what else is done now? Our beef, we're gonna have a look. We're gonna take off some of that liquid a little bit and then we're gonna try it out. Nothing screams home cooked and delicious like a slow cooked beef pot roast. It's really easy to make. It does take some time, about three to four hours because you need that beef to loosen up. And by that I mean, once it's done cooking, it will start to shred apart. That's when you know it's finished. Don't forget to add the vegetables in about an hour before it's finished so they don't turn to mush. And the potatoes are fantastic. It's gonna go perfect with this gravy. Get all these amazing ingredients from your favorite Heinen's grocery stores and be sure to visit Heinen's.com to see all of our wonderful recipe videos. I clearly have a ton to eat. We will catch you next time. Thank you.